most of what we know about gut health and the importance or the changes that happen with FMT is completely just like one person did this because they were dealing with something else. And then we see improvements in this condition that was we didn't think was even related. We see this, a really good example of this was in Alzheimer's disease. They had mild to, to moderate Alzheimer's and got treated for C. diff and their cognition improved. There no goal there. That was not a plan. There was no idea. There wasn't like, oh, it makes sense that like Alzheimer's and FMT would go together. It was literally like they had a severe case of C. diff, was hospitalized, did FMT to deal with it. And while they were currently undergoing treatment for their Alzheimer's disease, they showed significant improvement in their Alzheimer's symptoms. And the only thing that had changed was the FMT. And so now we have an entire group of people asking these questions, where does cognition play a role? What neurotransmitters are there? But I think the same thing is going to happen with autoimmune disease because you're having these cases where people are like, this makes sense. We have a patient that is non-responsive. They're open to an alternative treatment. Let's look and see what happens. And then you see these, you know, sometimes miraculous, like this person's been treated, you know, she's, they're a non-responder, you know, or they are a responder, but the, the impacts of, of the treatment is, is too high. Like they won't, they're not going to stay on the treatment. And part of a treatment plan is, is this person going to keep doing this treatment or is the side effects so bad that they're, it's going to be like, which one's worse? 